Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, Christmas Eve. Call this one Mary. Bad stockman. Come home from a pub and uh, made to make sure she was uh, suffering. And, uh, oh, she's on it. She's on it. She's got her belly full already, but I've got cow up, got calf up, and uh, they're at it. So now to worry about, I can go to bed now, and uh, I'm happy that it's got its colostrum, so. But yeah, I've been for a few beers. Not many, four or five. As many as I could in a couple of hours. So yeah, job's good. Quite quite pleased with me herd so far. I mean, I'm just playing it, this bloody cow thing. I'm an arable farmer, but we've got these two. Absolutely. That one's suckling. Other ones, I don't know whether you can see. Other ones suckling, so they're they're they've taken to their calves. And this one's this one's taking it to its cat. So I think we've got one one or two more in the next couple of weeks. Then I think we're gonna have a, a bit of a break. See look, I've got my iodine. Because a lot of people have asked me, are you iodine in their uh, navels? Well, I mean we know that from our sheep days. As soon as they were born, we iodine them. But cows lick it off. And then I'll, I'll iodine them again tomorrow. So yeah, you can probably tell by my voice, I've had a few, but I've still come out to see them, so you'll be watching, this is Christmas Eve, uh, about 8 o'clock, you'll be watching this on uh, probably New Year, so Happy New Year, everybody. Quite proud of me, little herd. Right, I'm off to uh, see what's happening in the house. Get presents out for grandkids. They're all here tomorrow, so. Just like to come in here in the morning as well. Well, two or three times a day, I'm probably over mothering them. But if they're sucking, like I've seen them, I've just got him up. So as long as he goes to his mum, They've all had a suckle. So, mum's on it, I don't know. Bloody missed him with an ear tag. So I'll try and take ear tag to bits and get a, maybe another back for it. Not in the world, like. Should have ear, two, two uh, numbers. They have, to, they have, <coughs> they have our, 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 her number, and, uh, and a number on bottom to uh, show you what's, number of calves we've had so we're on number i think we've got number seven to put in next no number six to put in next because as far as already calved we had that limousine what was our first first one in grasses that time and then uh go on go to your mum you so our next one will be number six go to your mum See, he's on, you see? But he's not hollow at all. He's not hollow when I picked him up. I disturbed him from, from his kip. But I touched his belly and his belly's full, so he's been suckling at night. So, yeah, they're doing them proud, these four. Right, we'll have to back to have a look at this lady. Where is she? Has she come back down yet? Oh. Where did you say that gear? That's awful. <laughs> Made a good job of that, Wally. You're good at making gates. Um, as long as I keep on top of his measurements. But yeah, his welding's quite good now. We never got a chance to paint it though, so. Um, well, it'll be. Get him, get him turned out and then we'll paint it, but. Just be a quick rub down. Give 
Rust will give some at Prana to Kinta. Yeah, they're all, all suckling. Every one is suckling now. Right, where are you go? Yeah, like I said, a bit of a Heath Robinson affair, what we've put together the day before Christmas Eve, me and all. Actually, it worked, it's worked. We haven't had to have one behind gate yet. But I think, I think this lady might be the one, because she seems to be, seems to be making very, very slow progress. Come on, let's get it shoved out. Cows and calves doing well, we've got four, we've had four over Christmas. Learned a lot and all, lost a, lost a twin. And yesterday morning we lost a big bull calf, we could not get it. Um, yeah, the, the, the effort was very small in pelvis and the calf was a real big bull calf. And Anyway, we struggled for an hour and then a native man came with his calving jack. We managed to sort of slip it through pelvic canal but it... Um, I think we'd stress, I think, I don't know whether the, the calf was dead anyway, um, but yeah, bad job really, but cows are alright, so cows back to normal, it's this one went back to us, um, so we didn't lose her, but couldn't get in touch with vet, There's, I mean, he'd have probably cesareaned it, um, but it was huge, and it could have been dead anyway, so we might have ended up with a massive bill for no result anyway, so... But uh, but no, the four cows what we've got we're really pleased with. So Phil came yesterday. He's back from his uh, his Welsh tour. He's had a good Christmas. Um, our Ollie came yesterday morning for a look. At well, at what we were up to. Jake Rucastle, mate of mine, real good pal. Not a young kid. He came and rescued us um, with his carving jack, and he knew instantly what to do. I mean. For a young kid with that experience, I was quite impressed. In fact, my dad, mum and dad were quite impressed with his uh, experience. Bully boy, he's putting a bit of lard on. Um, he maybe wants an Ivermec actually, because I don't know, he's, he's just losing a bit of air where he's scratching. But these two cows, what are destined to be culled, they're getting a, a ration of barley and some nice silage, and they're really putting some flesh on. You know, I would have thought in six weeks' time, we'll cash them in for whatever the mech. Um, the one what lost its calf with small, small sort of hips, pelvic canal, whatever you want to call it. I think we're going to give her a chance because it was just a massive calf. It was huge. You've never seen that like it. And uh, you know, if it had been an average side calf, she'd have given, she'd have been okay. Uh, and it's a shame because she's got a beautiful bag on her. Should have produced real good milk. Anyway, it is what it is, isn't it? If you. Um, I spoke to a real good pal of mine yesterday and he says, don't beat yourself up. He says, we've been carving for donkeys years and we could it, it could have been the same outcome with us. So, I mean, uh, but I maybe should have been on. I noticed her at five o'clock that she was starting, but we didn't sort of proceed trying to get it out till about half past seven. I think if we'd maybe started at five, but raising someone at five o'clock to come and help you, I mean, we didn't have our own carving jack, and we've bought one now. I've got one uh, on its way. And Jake uh, Jake um, says, whatever time, just give us a shout, and it'll come on. So, so yeah. yeah, it's good having good mates, really is. But yeah, these three are doing quite nice in here. I ain't seen any action whatsoever. He hasn't been taking any notice in these ladies. So whether they're totally barren, I don't know. They don't come in season or what, I ain't a clue, but, you know, there's only one outcome from them, I'm afraid. Um, and they're mixed up, actually, because it's, well, these are feeding. And he was getting a bit restless, he was, well, these were getting a bit restless, actually, as in, they just were interested in each other, but not in the sexual way, if you know what I mean. <coughs> This little cow and calf, what we had in grass. You've he'll, he'll been a real good mum, haven't you? But he's got really woolly, but by he's growing. All he's getting is, same again, a bit of a, a silage. 
and a, a ration of uh, barley and concentrate. And he's doing fantastic. Bang, he's shifted. You know, he'll be a fair beast with it. He's still, still intact, he's still a bull. And uh, yeah, I think plan is another, probably another month, and then he'll be off to the star market to make whatever he makes. And then we'll make our decision whether we'll dry her, dry her off and finish her, or put her to bull, but my worry is, this bloody thing, it's quite headstrong. And carving it, when if we had problems, it would be nothing like the Herefords. You know, if we had problems, she'd have been kicking and bucking and raving and going on. Where Hereford's just the, the, that placid and, and, and ploddy that they, uh, they just let you do whatever you want. So, but I think one here across there would be a fair calf. It'd be a nice looking thing. But we'll see anyway, time will tell. We haven't made that decision yet. These are all bedded up, you know. I've quite enjoyed Christmas actually. I've had a lot of stock work. Um, they've been, me and dad and uncle have done other farm, all cattle down there, and I've just looked after. These are only fat cattle we've got. Uh, these are our efforts. And then we've got bits and pieces of novelty stuff if you want, you know. I mean, cow job to us is a minor bit of our business. It's, I mean, it's a start. We've just made a start. Um, and it's just sort of gaining experience. But I do want to sort of. Uh, as long as I don't get put off, <coughs> excuse me, I want to get to a point that I've got maybe 50. Um, you know, because uh, I've quite enjoyed looking after the cows, but I didn't realise how much work there was involved. There is a lot of work. Um, you know, and if you can sort of invent stuff or make your system easy to, easy to do, sort of thing, if that makes any sense, you know, if you... Uh, you know, put some gates, some pens, some things, so you can segregate stuff and make it easier, you know, life easier. You know, it's worth investing a bit of money. Like that old yard's about knackered, but we are gonna sort of spend a bit, take a few pillars out, put a few uh, steel pillars in, and r roof needs a little bit of repair. Because uh, it's a good yard for carving 20 cows. So, but uh, we'll see anyway what the future is. That's windy today. Just go around pigs and then rat trap report. No oh, good at mum. Got a real tiny one. Got a real tiny one with it. I just don't think we've got the rats, I really don't. My dad's used some my dad's used some new poison. Oh it's a knout in there. Knout in there. Ooh. Hey, what's here though? Hey up. Oh, there's one in there. See little baby rat. What have you got? Ooh. See? But that little baby rat, don't feel sorry for him because he'll grow into a big rat and probably in eight weeks time he'll be having little rats. So anyway, I'll let you look look away and I'll release it to the wild. I was quite surprised with rat infestation. I mean, if you've got if you've got poultry and pigs, even cattle, I noticed when I came out the other night there was one scooting across cattle yard. Um, where you've got feed, water, and warm bedding like that straw, you'll have rats. But we've got oh, now compared to what we did last year. I mean, I don't know whether you've, if you've just started following me. We've got a couple of ratting videos, you know, go back and see what our problem was. And uh, yeah, we had a ratting, ratting day, shifting that straw last year and the straw, well, it's a new shed, but we had a line of straw here and we shifted that. And I don't know what we've got, about 90, 80, 90 rats or something, what we think we've picked up. That's what, but there was rats laid dead all over. So yeah, yeah, have a look back. Got a few. It's sick pen, I don't know, they just seem quite an aggressive lot and if they just sort of turn their if they just turn on one, they just say, seem to dislike one, and then hey, we've got top light problem. <coughs> and then they, they just try to murder it. I don't know, horrible things really. Lost a few, lost about 15 already, but I don't know, the genetics of pigs, yeah. Marvellous looking and a girl like mad, you can nearly watch them grow. But 
they seem to ail for anything and you get fluctuations of temperature as in hot cold you know uh, real cold on a night hot through the day it seems to upset their balance and they and they seem to uh, ail bad well i've never noticed you oh, you're an odd looking fella hey yeah, it's goose nib look look at that one it's got a real sh it's at life Go on, get up and get it to the light. Oh, it's a nice looking bar, big, but... Where are you? Get it to the light. It's got like a deformed bottom jaw. Can you see? Go on, move it. It's got a real uh, deformed bottom jaw. And, uh, yeah, it looks a bit odd. It's, it's not ailing, it's eating... Oh. Early in its eating and drinking because uh, it's a fat little sucker. God, they're doing really well, these pigs, actually. Yeah, really pleased with their growth. You don't see in five minutes since they were, they were restocking us, and now they're quite sizable pigs. I mean, pig enterprise with us, people asking me. Uh, ask me in comments that do you get I, I hope you got a good price for your pigs well we're on a bed and breakfast scheme where these pigs are ours these are a big companies called uh, Ian Mosey Livestock and we get, we just get paid per pig to keep them and we have to provide housing as in the shed water and uh, and straw uh, but I've always said the straw the bedding the muck what comes out is massively beneficial for our arable side so go on you buggers um, so that's one reason why we do it because they are a real fan of pigs to be honest I hate them they're horrible destructive aggressive horrible bloody things they're but nice on a plate but that's about it um, but uh, yeah yeah so it works fairly well so we haven't we haven't got a lot of risk but if we lose a lot we lose doubt we lose on uh, numbers going up onto the wagon for fat you know we get paid x amount for every fat pig what ends up at the abattoir um yeah and it's um actually i've looked at figures and i think we need to put another shed up i really do talking to a pal of mine yesterday and he's putting a big shed up general purpose and i just thought yeah it's time us to... we'll get a base in this year and i think we'll do another five four five bays for another 300 i might even go for 450 um, and I think that'll do us, I really do um, but it's like my dad says, they pay the bills you know, these, I know exactly what these sheds are making us a week um, and it pays wages and, uh, and, and, the, and as I say, the muck is marvellous for the uh, land and I, in fact I would advise anybody if they've got a good supply of straw and some buildings what you aren't utilising or using get it full of pigs but the, everything has to be 100% pig proof because if you have you know they, they, they just destroy everything if you don't build it over engineer stuff they just destroy it you know they're so destructive We've got some plans in the future. We, we fill our uh, hoppers with bucket and it's very slow, it's time consuming. And we want to get rigged up with some more bins. We're either going to have a lot of bins and gravity feed into every, uh, every uh, feeder or we, well, we're going to put these easy, uh, easy feeders in. Uh, it's like a pigtail auger and uh, it senses when it needs to go and when it needs to stop. You know, because that bin net could feed these two yards and we could have another pigtail on. See this, in that, in that top, there's a corkscrew. Motor on end, and it draws from the bottom of the bin up there and drops it down these down pipes as it comes along. Oh, so it's just pick it up. And then there's this sensor here. Well, as soon as it, it senses that... So it's going now. See, that's touched the wood, and if it touched the uh, uh, food, it stops, you see? And what we could have, we could have another one, like a downpipe, that downpipe there, into another system to go into other shed. 
and then this side's finished this side started then what we could do we could either have another bin at the on end a big bin and, uh, and draw it down here but i priced this system last year this year um Christ, it was expensive it was ridiculously expensive for what it was no bins involved and it was a massive amount of money and i just thought Christ almighty that had tech you know it was just a well a massive amount of money you know i won't tell you how much and i won't tell you it's firm but Christ almighty i won't be rushing back to them lots come on that way These are a load of smalls. Should have turned light on for you. Yeah, these these are a load of smalls, but they're actually they're they're quite tiny smalls though. Uh, they've done really well. We lost a couple of little screwy ones, but yeah, they're uh, they're coming on really nice now. Um, but it's just a nice little warm yard, is this for your smalls? Because um, they just I don't know runs like these these two little fellas are wickers out, but they're just untidy little things. Just a run for the litter, aren't they? What do you think, Jet? Right, I'm going to put this on New Year's Eve, and I just wish you all Happy New Year. And thanks very much for all your comments, and don't be offended because I don't, uh, I just don't get time to uh, reply to them all. But I do read them all. I do sit down and read them all and uh, i really appreciate them so keep them coming um and uh, yeah we're going to do it another year this youtube thing and see how we go because i am making quite a wage out of it now, and, uh, yeah i don't know why it's all of a sudden me my viewing numbers are going up and uh, yeah and it's 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 sort of worthwhile now so but if you haven't if you haven't subscribed subscribe and then if the more subs i think how it works is the more subscribers you've got the further youtube push you and uh, so but uh, but no just wishing you happy new year and hope 23 is a, a good one for everybody um and uh, yeah yeah so from a rough hard farm in east Yorkshire, happy new year and good luck in 23. bye for now